Hey guys, this is Rockets with MaddenEvolution.com, and I'm going to be doing a guest commentary today on a game by Kilo Score. Uh, Kilo asked me to do this for him, and I have no problem helping out, so all I really know about this video is that he's running run heavy and he's the Panthers, and that's about it. I really don't have any details on the uh, opponent or anything like that, but um, I'm assuming he's playing somebody pretty decent, so I we'll, guess we'll see how the game goes. It's like the guy wants to run here a little bit with LT. He's dropping back. His flats are open. It's like Kilo just dropping back into coverage. I mean, I like to do that early in the game, too. I'm really not worried about, I don't know, stopping them or getting a quick turnover. I just want to see as much of their offense as I can. It looks like Kilo's been doing a good job of that. And then he just sent the overload blitz right there on fourth down. I think he did a great job of getting that turnover. And it's a great way to set the tone of the game by doing that early. So I think that's a really good job by him right there. Yeah, he's definitely running run heavy. The formation looks like single back, big three tight end. That's what I'm guessing it is. He just ran a little unbump route out of that, and that's directly out of Fudgy's run heavy ebook, which is um looks like what he's running here. Um, <clears throat> I really don't know if this is his own stuff, but Fudgy did put out a great run heavy ebook. So if you guys haven't checked it out, I really suggest you do. It's free over at MaddenEvolution.com, so just uh, grab your free copy. like Kilo likes to just play the safety deep over the middle and he sees it he sees that he's slipping on there and he just can't recover fast enough and I mean that happens to the best of us I think if you would have dropped back that whole time he would have had an easy pass over the middle so just have to get your priorities of what you want to take away first usually I mean you want to take away the deepest route but it's easier said than done so we have a tie game here running more of that formation now we're gonna run out of it and it's a great formation um, in run heavy just so much you can do with it and D'Angelo Williams is just nasty get outside and I mean you see what he's able to do right there Revis was able to catch him I think Williams should have a slight speed advantage over Revis but maybe not and here we go get the same look and bounces off and that's it right there so another great play by Kilo I know um, Fudgy likes to run run heavy with the Panthers too, so I think it's pretty fitting that Kilo chose to do um, to use run heavy with the Panthers here. I think it's a great fit. You have two amazing backs here. You have D'Angelo Williams, who's fast, he's agile, he's a decent weapon in the receiving game as well. And then you have Stewart, who's just a uh, run it right at him kind of guy, and he really gets the job done too. He reminds me a lot of Mendenhall and the Steelers, and I think Steelers um, <clears throat> they're a great offense, and I really think Mendenhall gets overlooked. But anybody who's really tried to uh, run the ball out with Steelers nose Mendenhall breaks tackles Mendenhall makes things happen for himself so he's just one of those great backs to have and Stewart's a lot like that and the Panthers just have two backs that are capable of getting the job done which is a big reason why someone would want to use the Panthers here yeah they're I believe they're rated 68 overall I think that's the lowest of any team but they're really I'd say they're in the top 10 Madden teams maybe not quite 10 but they're up there they're definitely not at the bottom of the league as the overall ratings would suggest but Anyone who plays Madden at any level really knows that the ratings don't really make too much of a difference. And this guy really likes these little comeback routes over the middle. And Kilo just dropping everyone back, so he's making it work. But all it really takes is one mistake on those, so I'm really not a fan of throwing it like he is. But we'll see if he can make it work all game. I really don't know. As I said, I haven't seen this video before, so... But he is picking up steady yards. He's driving downfield. I mean, if I'm the Jets, I really like to run the ball a lot more. I think um, LT is overrated, and wow, that's a, that's a great catch on the sideline. Nothing Kilo really could have done about it there. And then when you get that kind of blocking, it's just an easy punch in. So looks like we have a game on our hands, guys. We got a minute 10 left in the half. And then Kilo just totally sent the nano right there, got right through. And um, his opponent was able to dump the ball off. And that should have been a user pick. I saw him switch over, but that's a great switch and catch by Kilo. This could be a game changer if he's able to put a score on the board. I think Kilo gets the ball back at half. I honestly don't quite remember who started out with the ball, but we'll see. And wow, I haven't seen that this year. Um, I mean, I know pitches are in the game, obviously, but I'd never run them, especially in a situation like this. But he made it work, and then that's a gutsy run right there, but if you're running the run-heavy playbook, I guess you're... Uh, you're, you're relying on the run, so that was great blocking, great cut by Kilo. I liked it. 
and looks like another great run. We're just moving up. We got three seconds left here. I'm sure he's gonna take the lead here. I briefly ran run heavy myself just because Fudgy did such a good job in the ebook. I was able to just run through the ebook pretty quickly and have a decent offense. Um but I really didn't stick with it long. Every time I try to leave Dallas I come back. And I was right. Well actually maybe no, maybe Aquilo didn't get the ball there and that's why uh, there's a big time gap after halftime. So we'll see if that was a great play to the tight end, just taking the yards where he's giving them to you. And Kilo's doing a good job of something that I really wasn't able to do. I wasn't able to pass out of this playbook very well. I mean, I was able to run the ball all day, but if somebody had good run stop defense on me, I just found myself in trouble. But Kilo's really making the pass work, so there's plenty of unbumpable routes in here and I mean, that's I, all I'd really do. My game plan was run the ball hard and then hit him with the unbump whenever I thought it would be successful. And um, if they just used the unbumps or played a lot of zone defense and were able to shut down my runs, I was pretty much in trouble. But I know that wouldn't stop a guy like Fudgy after all, it's his scheme. But, I mean, I went through a couple of the formations in there and tried to make it work. It was fun for a couple of days. And then I switched playbooks again. <laughs> So right now, Kilo's up by 10 points. I think if he gets a stop here, it's pretty much over. Just by how the, the pace of this game's been going, but maybe not. So we still got a game here. And that was a great, great user pick. Well, uh, he switched, he hesitated a little bit, got that animation, just the little basket catch by Gamble and we'll see if he can take this back for six. He's got Santonio trailing so probably not but I really don't think it matters. I think this might seal it if he can put up another score here. He gets the ball right at the 20. Um, if I were him I keep the ball on the ground. This is it's a run heavy playbook for a reason but he looks like he wants to go to the air here and it paid off. Almost got in right there and now he just has to punch it home. So see how he decides to do that. Playing. He's facing some zone defense there, just motion Smith in and get that extra blocker with no real penalty against man. As you guys know, if you motion the guy over, you're going to pull in another defender. But um, against zone, it's it's pretty uh, it's a low risk, high reward type of play to move in that wide receiver for another blocker. And when you're running unbumps where you have to motion the receiver, it doesn't really give too much away to the defense. I mean, all you upper level guys know this, but I mean, I'm sure people of all skill levels watch these videos, so it's a little tip for you guys out there. Take advantage of extra blockers, especially against zone defense. So now I think Kilo's doing something smart. He's dropping back, it looks like here, and he's just um, trying to contain the play, nothing too big, and he should have it. If he loses this game, I'll be surprised. He's played great so far. He's playing great user defense over the middle, shutting down that post route. Now he just has to watch the comebacks, and I don't know who he was throwing that to, but another great pick with the same... Uh, basket type catch animation where he just reaches over I guess so another great stop and apparently um, we're skipping ahead for time purposes here I encourage you guys to keep the video to around 10 minutes because nobody really wants to watch a 40 minute game replay and I mean I really don't see the Jets having a chance to come back here but we'll see how it goes Looks like we got some kind of pressure coming here. This is a blitz I do not run, so I'm kind of curious what he's doing here. And uh, it's pretty successful, fourth and one. Makes him throw that quick pass, and there's just nothing there. And then this is an eye tight he's running right now. It's one of my favorite formations in the game for running, and it just and it's really great in run heavy because as you see right there, it has the unbump play, which is a formation audible. So it's really easy to switch between a run and the unbump if they try to stack the box or they're playing man press or something like that. It's just really easy to switch without having to actually commit one of your audibles to the unbump play. So eye tight and run heavy is definitely something you want to check out if you're if you're um, looking to be a stronger runner. Uh, like I said before, check out Fudge's ebook. He's got you covered. It's free. And you'll learn a lot. You'll be able to run the ball well. And, um, well, yeah, it looks pretty much over here. I've seen this play a couple times now. And uh, Kiel is making Klaus look like Mike Vick out there, rolling around out of the pocket, making decent throws on the run. And that's definitely game right there. I mean, I didn't see him coming back before, but now it's pretty much impossible. 
when I get in the situation, I don't really like to play a lot of zone. I just like to play two man under and just stop plays like that. But if you have the user skills to take those away, play zone, do whatever you want, because Kilo's in the zone right now. I mean, honestly, it doesn't matter what he plays. He's going to win this game. But I don't know. Usually late in the game, if, I, if I'm just trying to close it out, I'll just go with uh, two man under. Looks like that's it, guys. So thanks for watching. Um, thanks, Kilo, for giving me this video. And remember, check out MaddenEvolution.com. Later, guys.